everybody, welcome back. And today I've got a tutorial featuring a new palette that I found in Ulta last week, a couple weeks ago, a week and a half ago, called the Pure Visionary Palette. This palette consists of 12 shades and it retails for $12. I will be doing a more kind of in-depth tutorial, I mean tutorial, that's what I'm doing now, review on this palette. So definitely look for that. But I thought it was really beautiful. It just kind of caught my eye and I wanted to kind of play around and do something more dramatic. I've been playing around with this palette doing you know, more dramatic looks, more subtle looks. I've worn it to work several times. And I thought I would just sit around and play today. Get home, I got home from work today. Why, whoop, uh, whoop off. I wope off my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I wiped off my makeup and I decided to sit and play. I've never done a cut crease or a half cut crease before so I thought that would be just a fun thing to do and I figured I'd do it on camera um, and share it with you guys. So if you guys want to see how I got this look using the new Pure Visionary palette then stick around. Guys we're going to go ahead and get started with um, just priming our eyes. I'm using my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. I'm just going to use my finger to spread that all over the lid up to the brow bone. Now there is not a brow or all over lid shade for me so I am going to go into Walk of Shame from my Naked Basics palette with my BRC S03 brush and I'm just going to use that to set the primer and just even out my lid. It's had a little little bit of eyelash drama there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Pure Visionary palette. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the lightest shade right here called Idealist. And we're just going to pick that up on a Wet n Wild fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start laying that down over Walk of Shame and just start building up the transition. This shade really is not going to show up if you're a lighter skin tone. or I mean, really, it's not going to show up on a lot of people, but it's going to be one of those great shades for really laying down your transition and building up a nice blend. Now using that same brush, we're gonna go into this shade right here, which called Role Model, which is a beautiful dusty rosy shade with a little bit of mauve in it. I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna take just a little bit on my brush and start laying that down in the transition. We will build this up more as we go, but again, start, start with a little bit and slowly build it up. Alright, now I'm going to pick up a BR250 brush from Coastal Scents and we're going to go back into that role model shade. Now we're really going to start building up the color. This denser brush is really nice for really blending and buffing out the color. We're going to really blow it out and take it really, and we're going to take it out towards the tail of the eyebrow. I'm also going to pick up some of that shade on the flat side of the brush, start sweeping it over the lid. If you take it up too high, that's okay because we can go back in and clean it up. Now using that same brush, I'm going to go into probably my favorite shade in the palette, which is this one right here called Rebel. It's a beautiful deep burgundy shade, but it's a more of a purple burgundy. And again, we're just going to work this into the outer corner. And then once we've deposited most of that color, start blending it up and out. And again, you do not have to take it this high. I'm just not being shy with it because I want something a little bit more dramatic today. So once we've got that color where we want it, we're going to start cutting or doing our half cut crease. So guys, have some patience with me because this is my first time ever trying to do a cut crease. So I'm just going to grab a flat shader brush. Use any one you want. Mine is from MASH. And I'm just going to go in with my Stila Stay All Day Concealer in Light. I like using this to cut my crease. And I'm going... Ooh, that mirror is way too little. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I'm just going to take this start on the inner corner and I'm going to take this really over exaggerate my natural crease so I'm taking this quite a bit above my natural crease and that's because I want the eyeshadows to show up once I place them on the lid if you have hooded eyes you can do cut creases you just got to play around and make it work and find the best shape that works for you I want to make sure that's about as even 
with the other side as I can possibly get it. And if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay. It's just eyeshadow. We can fix it. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that into that Rebel shade. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe off this flat shader brush because now we're gonna go into the actual eyeshadows. I'm just trying to cut down on the amount of brushes I use, guys. But we're gonna go into this really beautiful kind of royal plum shade is how I would describe it. It's like a royal purple that's just leaning plum. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna pick up quite a bit on this on my brush. And I'm gonna spray it down with my Max Fix Plus. This shade does have a little bit of sparkle in it. It's not nearly as sparkly or shimmery as some of the other shades in the palette, but it's really quite beautiful. And I'm going to place this on the outer corner and kind of blend it up to match. So we're gonna blend this into the Rebel shade. to kind of help create that uh, cut crease illusion. One say, thing I will say for this color is that it is dark. It doesn't blend quite as well as I would like it to in the Rebel shade, but I can make it work. So you just gotta, you just gotta work with it a little bit. So I'm gonna pick up that two, uh, BR250 brush and go back in with that Optimus shade. Optimist, not Optimus. So it's not Transformers. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend that shade into the Rebel shade, just to kind of even out and soften up that edge. I'm gonna dip back into the Rebel as well. Or Rebel, the shade called Rebel. Why am I being so awkward? And just fuss with it until you get the blend that you like. So again, I'm just gonna wipe off that uh, brush on a wipe. And we're gonna go into this color right here called Dreamer. Now this color is beautiful, but it is extremely chunky. I don't know if you can see, focus there. It's very, very chunky. So when you go into it with a brush, you can see it kicks up a lot of product. So what I like to do is just kind of pat my brush in there, really coat my brush, and you have to foil this shade. Unless you're gonna apply this shade with a finger, I would say you absolutely have to coat your brush or um, foil your brush. So I pick that up and I'm just gonna paint that over where I have the concealer. And it really is just a beautiful shade. Now I'm just gonna go back in and pick up some the excess. Peter, can you not attack the softbox lights? Thanks. And really paint that and foil that up. So as you can see, that looks a little bit intense right now. That's okay. We're gonna fix it. So to kind of create that transition, I'm gonna go in with that same brush and go into this beautiful pink shimmery shade called Icon. And again, this one is very much like Optimist, Optimist, where it's not as shimmery, but it is very beautiful on the, on the lid. And I do like to foil this one as well. So I'm just gonna start placing that right in the middle of the two shades. And this one I do find, unless you're gonna apply the shade with your finger, you really do have to build the shade up. It swatches gorgeously, but it's not quite as effective on the eye. So you can see it blends really beautiful into that inner corner shade. So what I'm gonna do is flip that brush over, go a little bit, go back into Optimus just a little bit, and reiterate the color. I did go back in just because I was getting too much of a harsh line, so that's looking really dark right now, but that's okay, because we're gonna go back in and clean it up. So I'm gonna go pick up my BRC S03 again and go back into Walk of Shame. This is just one of those great kind of eraser colors. And I'm just gonna start lightening this up. Really softening out that transition. All right, so we're gonna leave the eyes alone for now. Well, no, that's a lie. We're gonna leave the eyeshadow alone for now, but we are gonna go in and do a little bit of a wing. I'm just gonna use my Wet n Wild H2O liner and just create enough to where we're gonna be able to blend in our lashes. You guys, apparently I'm an amateur and my camera stopped filming, I didn't notice. So what I did is I just tight lined my eyes, put mascara on, popped on my lashes. I just used my Kiss Ritzy Lash and lined my lower waterline as well with the Maybelline Super Skinny 
Master Precise Skinny in black. So now we're just gonna finish up the lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take just a little no-name pencil brush and go back into that Rebel shade and just run this right underneath the lash line. I'm gonna take this all the way across the lower lash line and fade it into the inner corner. Now taking a BRCS 06 brush, I'm gonna go into the role model shade and just start smoking that out. I'm gonna clean off that BRCS 06 just on my little color switch dupe and I'm gonna go back into the dreamer shade and just pick up a little bit and really reiterate the inner corner. All right, this eye's watering, so um, the tutorial is now official. I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna do the rest of the face. All right, for bronzer today, I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in light and my Sephora powder brush. Excuse me. And just start warming up the face a little bit. Just do some light contouring-ish stuff. You know, we got a lot going on with the eyes. We don't need to get too crazy, right? For blush today, I want to go in with Blush Baby from MAC. I'm just taking this on a BRC S25 brush. Really focusing that on the apples of the cheeks and then just blending it back. Now I'm gonna go with a really kind of in-your-face highlighter today. So I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow on a e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. Focus that on the apples of the cheeks and then just blend it back. Take it around the tail of the brow. And going back, I'm just looking at the eyes. I am gonna take just a teeny tiny little detail brush and I'm gonna go into that Naked Basics palette and pick up the Crave shade. And I'm just very, very, gonna put just a teeny tiny little bit of that shade just to blend up into my wing just to even it out because it was bothering me. Okay, wow, I also completely forgot to do my lower lashes. So I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay Troublemaker mascara um, just because I have it on hand. I'm just gonna spray my face down with my Max, uh, my Max, my Mac Prep and Prime Fix Plus. All right, I wanna do something kind of pink and pretty on the lips today. So I'm gonna do Dose of Colors Lazy Daisy. All right, everybody, and this is the finished look. All right, everybody, so this is the finished look. Very dramatic. I was definitely not going for something subtle today. I just thought I wanted to play around and really see what this palette could do. So so I hope this gave you a good idea of how this palette performs. Definitely there are some you know positives and negatives, and again, I'll get more into that in my review. So definitely keep an eye out for that because I think this is going to be going up first. But overall, a really pretty palette. I know these colors are very in right now, but they are very... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of this going on right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the look. Let me know. Let me know if you picked up this palette or if you're interested in it. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts. But thank you guys so much for hanging out, playing with makeup with me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a rocking week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.